Hi everyone, so this video is going to go over uh, 5.2 on Big Ideas Math. Uh, Unit 5 is all about solving systems of equations. Uh, in 5.1, we went over solving systems of equations using graphs. And in this uh, assignment, 5.2, we are going to solve systems of equations using substitution. Now, substitution can get a little complicated sometimes uh, because there's going to be some choices that you need to make on how to go about solving these systems. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that there's not really a wrong choice. There's just an easier and a harder choice. So even if you choose the harder choice, uh, you, you'll still come to the correct answer if you do everything correctly. Uh, so even if you choose the wrong variable and the wrong equation, um, it's just going to make things a little bit more difficult, but you still will be able to come to the correct answer. And the more you do of these, the better you'll be at choosing which variable and which equation you want to use uh, to substitute. So taking a look at this system here, we have x equals 17 minus 4y, and we have y equals x minus 2. So this first equation here, it's already solved for x. x equals 17 minus 4y. This second equation is already solved for y. Uh, y equals x minus 2. Now some equations down the road that we're going to see here, um, they won't already be solved for one variable or the other, and you'll have to do that. But this one is already set up where we have one equation solved for x and the other equation solved for y. So the decision that we need to make here is are we going to use this equation to substitute in for y, or are we going to use this equation to substitute in for x? So first, let's take a look at how each of those would look if we chose to go that route. Now the key here is to get rid of one of the variables in one of these equations, because if you have two variables in an equation, then you can't solve. Uh, if there's only one variable in an equation, then that just goes back to the first couple units we've done, and we are able to solve uh, for that variable. So taking a look at this first equation, so we know x equals 17 minus 4y. So x and 17 minus 4y, these are the same number. So they are equal to each other, which means where it says x down here, we could replace that with 17 minus 4y. Again, they're the same thing. So where, where it says x, you could just write in 17 minus 4y. And this is what that would look like here. Now, on the second equation, we could have also uh, used x minus 2 to replace for y. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So here's what we would have here. So we took uh, the y in the equation here, where it's 4 times y, uh, and we just replaced the y with x minus 2 because x, y and x minus 2 are the same. So we can just substitute y with x minus 2. And this is what we would end up with. Uh, we only have to do one of these. So the, the choice is which one do you think would be easier? Now here you would have to distribute and then combine like terms and then solve. Up here you just have to combine like terms and then solve. So I would say this one would be the easier one. So let's go with that. So all we've done here is we've taken what it says x equals in this equation, and in this equation we replaced x with what it says x equals. So instead of writing x with it in this equation, we wrote 17 minus 4y. So now we just have to solve for y. Uh, so first thing, like I said, we have to do is combine like terms. So we have 17 and a negative 2 that are like terms, and we need to combine those. So that becomes y equals 17 minus 2 is 15 minus 4y. Next thing we have to do is get rid of the variable on one side of the equation. Whenever you're trying to get, you have the same variable on both sides of the equation, and you want to get rid of one of them, always get rid of the lower value. Well, this is 1y, and this is negative 4y. So negative 4 is lower 
than 1. So we want to get rid of the negative 4y. We do that by adding 4y to both sides. Uh, y plus 4y is 5y equals that cancel, just leaving us 15. And now all we have to do is divide both sides by 5. And we find out that y equals 15 divided by 5 is 3. So we now know y equals 3. Now we have another decision to make here. We now need to plug y equals 3 into 1 of these two equations. It doesn't matter which one. We'll come out with the right answer either way. Um, just go with whichever one you feel would be easier. I think the second equation would be easier if we plug 3 in for y rather than this one. Seems like a little more math to do on this one. So let's take this second equation and replace y with 3. So instead of y equals x minus 2, it becomes 3 equals x minus 2. Now this is a pretty simple equation here. Should be able to solve that. Just got to add 2 to both sides. And we find out that x equals 5. So now we have what x and y equal, and we have our solution. So x is 5 and y is 3. So here we put x for 5 and y is 3. Hit that check answer button, make sure we're correct, and we are. All right, let's take a look at the next one here. We have 6x minus 9 equals y and y equals negative 3x. So uh, both of these are solved for y. So we could take either one of these and plug it in for y in the other equation. Um, honestly, for this one, I, I don't see one as being easier than the other. Um, they, they seem pretty similar at first glance. So uh, let's just go ahead and plug this one uh, into here. So here it says y equals negative 3x. So where it says y in this equation, we're just going to write in negative 3x. So our equation here becomes 6x minus 9 equals, and again, instead of y, we're putting what the other equation says y equals, and that's negative 3x. So now we could solve here. Uh, again, we have x's on both sides. We need to get rid of one of them. Uh, and you want to get rid of the lower value. So the lower value here is negative 3. So we are going to add 3x to both sides. This is going to give us 9x minus 9 equals 0. Because negative 3x plus 3x give, just leaves us with nothing. So 0. Uh, next we need to add 9 to both sides. And we get 9x equals 9, divide both sides by 9, and we get x equals 1. All right, so now we know that x equals 1. Uh, so to find out y, we need to replace 1 within either of these two equations. Now, this one is a little bit of an easier choice here. This second equation is definitely going to be easier when we replace x with 1. Uh, so this becomes y equals negative 3 times 1. And negative 3 times 1 is obviously just negative 3, so that means y equals negative 3. So x here is 1 and y is negative 3. So x is 1 and y is negative 3. Make sure that is correct, and we're good. All right, so on this next one, now this is going to be a much easier choice here because this first equation is already solved for x, and the second equation isn't solved for any one particular variable. So it, it'll be a lot more difficult to try to solve this second equation for either x or y. Again, you could do it. Uh, you would probably end up with fractions, and no one wants to deal with fractions. So let's go ahead and use... Uh, 16 minus 4y and plug that in for x in the second equation. So uh, where it says x in this equation, we are replacing it with 16 minus 4y. So this becomes 3 times 16 minus 4y plus 
plus 4y equals 8. All right, so this is going to be a multi-step problem here. A lot of things we have to do. So first thing we have to do is distribute over here. When you distribute, you take that outside number and you multiply it by each of the terms inside the parentheses. So first we're going to take 3. We're going to multiply that by 16 to get 48. And yes, I did just use a calculator. I don't know that off the top of my head. And then we multiply by the other term. Make sure you uh, know this negative sign goes with it. So 3 times negative 4 is negative 12y. And then we could just write out the rest of the equation here. Plus 4y equals 8. Next, we have to combine like terms. We have a negative 12y and a positive 4y. So we're going to need to add those together. Um, and that will give us negative 8y still equals 8. Uh, now we want to get this, uh, the number with the y by itself, so we got to get rid of this other number, so we are going to subtract 48 from both sides. That's going to leave us with negative 8y equals 8 minus 48 is negative 40. Divide both sides by negative 8. Make sure you're using your calculator for all this math so you don't make any mistakes, uh, negative 40 divided by negative 8 is positive 5. So we now know y equals 5. Uh, now we need to plug in y, uh, 5 for y. And again, we could do it in either one of these two equations. I'm going to say this first one is certainly going to be the easier one because uh, there won't be any algebra involved um, because it's already solved for x. So when we uh, plug in 5 for y here, it's going to give us our answer immediately. So x equals 16 minus 4 times uh, y, which is 5. So 4 times 5. Uh, so when we simplify this, uh, when you simplify, always do multiplication first. Uh, remember the order of operations. So 4 times 5 is 20. And... 16 minus 20 is negative 4. So this should be our answer here. X equals negative 4 and Y is 5. So let's plug that in, negative 4 and 5. And we are correct. All right, moving on to number 12 here. Again, uh, we see here Y is already solved. The second equation is already solved for Y. So this is what we want to use. Uh, we're going to plug 10x minus 8 in for y in this first equation. So this first equation now becomes negative 5x plus, and instead of y, we're going to write 10x minus 8. So 3 times 10x minus 8. And that equals 51. So now we have our equation here. Uh, first thing we have to do to solve is to distribute. So again, we're going to take this outside number and we're going to multiply it by each of the inside terms. Uh, so we're going to have this 5x over here. It's going to be now plus 3 times 10x is 30x. And 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. And that equals 51. We need to combine like terms. We have a negative 5x and we have a 30x. So that's going to give us 25x minus 24 equals 51. We now need to add 24 to both sides. And we get 25x equals 75. Divide both sides by 25. And we now know that x equals 75 divided by 25 is 3. So now that we know that x equals 3, we can replace x with 3 in either one of these equations. Now again, if you plug it into this first equation, you will get the right answer, but there will be um, a lot more steps than if we plug it into the second equation. So let's go with the second equation. And in the second equation, we have y equals 10. It's 10x, so we are going to replace x with 
3, since we already figured out that x equals 3, and then minus 8. So again, order of operations, we do the multiplication first. 10 times 3 is 30 minus 8, and 30 minus 8 is 22. So x is 3 and y is 22. Let's make sure that is correct. And it is. So for number 13 here, things got just a little more difficult on all the ones we did previously. Um, one of these two equations were already solved for one of the variables, but that's not the case here. So we either need to solve this one uh, for x, there, there's only an x in this one, there's not a y, uh, or we need to solve this one for either x or y and then plug it in. Um, the easiest route to go here would be to solve this equation for x and then plug it in to this equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, should be easy enough to solve for x here, 2x equals 12. All we need to do is divide both sides by 2, and we find out that x equals uh, 6. So now that we know x equals 6, uh, we can plug 6 in for x. Um, now we have to go, because we, we need to solve for y, so we have to plug it in to this second equation, because there's not a y in this first equation. So we know x equals 6 now, so we are going to plug that into the second equation. So instead of x, we'll write 6 minus 5y equals negative 29. So we now need to subtract 6 from both sides. Uh, 29 minus 6 is negative 35. Anytime you have two negatives, just add them together and keep the sign. So negative 29 minus 6 is negative 35. These cancel, leaving us negative 5y. And now we can divide both sides by negative 5. And we get y equals negative 35 divided by negative 5 is positive 7. Negative divided by negative is a positive, so y equals 7. So now we have x equals 6 and y equals 7. Make sure I did that correctly, and we're good. All right, moving on to number 14 here. Now, again, um, neither of these are solved for uh, the other one. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. Since there's not a y in this problem, we'll solve for x in this one and then plug it into the first equation. So here we have x minus 9 equals negative 1 to solve here. We just add 9 to both sides and we find out that x equals 8. So now we know x equals 8, and we could replace uh, x up here with 8. So uh, we have 2 times 8 minus y equals 23. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16, so we now have 16 minus y equals 23. Uh, get y by itself, subtract 16 from both sides, mm -hmm. This is going to give us that will cancel. So we have negative y equals 23 minus 16 is 7. So if negative y equals positive 7, that means positive y equals negative 7. So x is 8 and y is negative 7. So x is 8, y is negative 7. And we're good. All right, number 15 here. So now we're back to having two variables in each of the equations, and neither one is solved for a variable. So we are going to need to uh, solve one of these equations for one of the variables. So this is where those decisions really uh, come into play here. Um, you can solve either of the equations for either of the variables. So a couple decisions to make here. Um, but again, if, if you choose the wrong uh, option, you'll still come out to the right answer. Um, it might just be a little more difficult. So if we look here, um, anytime it's 1x or 1y, uh, that's usually the one you want to go with. So uh, we want to solve this one 
for one of the variables. It doesn't matter which one. And I wouldn't say that one would be easier than the other. Um, so let's just go ahead and go with, let's, let's solve for y. So in this first equation here, we are going to, where it says y, we are going to put negative x minus 3. So uh, I'm going to create some more room. I'm going to go ahead and erase that and go 5x plus 2. And instead of y, we're going to put negative x minus 3 because that's what we found out that y equals. Uh, and that equals 9. <clears throat> so to solve this for x, first we need to distribute. So we got 5x over here, and then plus 2 times negative x is negative 2x. I need to get rid of that plus sign because it's going to be minus 2x. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 equals 9. Uh, first thing we have to do is combine like terms. 5 negative 2x gives us 3x. Minus 6 equals 9. We can now add 6 to both sides. That cancels, giving us 3x equals 15. And when we divide both sides by 3, it gives us x equals 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now we know x equals 5, and so we need to plug five in for x in either of these equations obviously this one is going to be a lot easier um so let's go with the second one uh, so instead of x we're writing five so five plus y equals negative three subtract five from both sides and we find out that y equals negative eight so let's go ahead and get that put in five and negative eight Make sure that is correct, and it is. So, all right, moving on. Uh, this is our last one here. Uh, so, again, here on this one, we have to solve uh, one of these equations for one of the variables. I said, anytime you see a 1x or a 1y, that's usually the one you want to go with. So, we're going to solve this second equation for x. Okay, so all we have to do to solve for x here is add 2y to both sides. And we end up with that cancels, so x equals 2y minus 4. So now we know x and 2y minus 4 are the, the same. So up here where it says x, we can replace it with 2y minus 4. So 11 times 2y minus 4 minus 7y equals negative 14. All right, so first thing we have to do is distribute. So 11 times 2y is 22y. 11 times negative 4 is negative 44. And then we still have our minus 7y equals negative 14. Uh, now we need to combine like terms. We have a 22y and a negative 7y. So we're going to combine those, and that will give us 15y. Minus 44 equals negative 14. We now need to add 44 to both sides. And 
that will now cancel, leaving us 15y equals 30. Divide both sides by 15, and I'm running out of room here at the bottom. Uh, so I'll put over here, we now know y equals 15 divided by 30 is 2. So now that we know y equals 2, uh, we need to plug 2 in for y in either equation. Obviously, the second one is going to be easier. So let's go with that. Uh, we have x minus 2 times 2 equals negative 4. Uh, x, uh, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, so x minus 4 equals negative 4. Add 4 to both sides, and we get x equals negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So x is 0, y is 2. So let's go ahead and put that in. x is 0, y is 2. And we're good. So that is the end of this assignment. Uh, we've now had two assignments so far for this trimester, so make sure you have finished up both of them. Uh, my other video is in the notes and also posted in the classwork section. So if you haven't finished up 5.1 Part 2, uh, solving systems of equations with graphs. Make sure you get that done, get this one done, get it turned in on time, get that five points extra credit for turning things in on time. Make sure you're using the check answer button so you get them all correct. Um, and that is it for this, so I will see you in the next one.